new day, new uh, new battle, and we have an opponent. It is a Zashian Eveltal team. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. Not th not this person in particular, but uh, the Zashian Eveltal -E matchup from our uh, second episode. They have a Sharpedo on their team, which is pretty cool. So straight away, locking in Dialga, because I'm going Trick Room. We're going to go Double Dragon in the lead. Incineroar in the back with Groudon, I think. Yeah, I mean, Charizard looks... Nah, Charizard doesn't look that great here. Um, we're not bringing Venusaur. It's going to be Groudon. Um, yeah, interested to see what's going to happen with this one. They... What are they going to lead? I expect them to lead the Eveltal. Uh, they, these Eveltal teams usually do, right? They usually have the Assault Vest and Snarl and those kinds of things. Uh, I'm intrigued by the Sharpedo. There's a strong Pokemon. I can't remember, is it a 120 attack? Very frail, but it's going to get the Dark Aura boost from Eveltal as well. Um, let's see. Let's see. I've got no idea what else they'll be leading. Probably Eveltal, uh, Intimidate, either Landorus or Incineroar. Yeah, Land Landorus is a, a tough one for, for, for the team. It can be a tough one for the team. Okay. The Veltal Sharpedo. So we're going to see the Shark in action. Okay, so this is a bit of a weird lead. Because... Straight away I'm thinking just Ally Switch and Trick Room. I think that if anything, if they want to blow up one of these Pokemon, it's going to be a Dialga, right? Because they, they probably don't want Trick from going up. Um, then again, they, they can hit the Latias for super damage. La Latias is heavily threatened here. Um, I'm going to chance it. We're going to go for the Trick Room and yeah, probably a light switch. I could Tailwind, but I think... Um, could Tailwind. No, I think 10 seconds, yeah. I think I think the Ally Switch is probably the right play. Uh, I don't think they're going to try and blow up the Latias slot because they're not going to Dynamax and go into that slot because they, they don't need to. That would be a waste of their Dynamax turn. Uh, okay, so Snarl as expected. Not from the Sharpedo though, as expected to be from the Eveltal. And ooh, we, are, we are lucky. We are lucky to get around that. So Latias switches out. They all got a Void, which is perfect. And what we're going to see from Eveltal, Incineroar's coming in 100%. We're getting into position now. Uh, we're finally seeing the Trick, maybe, hopefully, seeing the Trick Room mode in, uh, in action. The Trick Room machine running smoothly. Um, probably another Snarl, right? Yeah, there we go. We don't avoid that one. That doesn't do quite a lot of damage, things considered. Okay. But. We are in command right now. Sharpedo gets speed boost, so that's going to be just... Yeah, there we go. So, straight away, Brick Break into Dialga, get our weakness policy, and Max Wormwind into that Evel, get Evel tool out there. I am um, cognizant of the fact that Zashin could switch in. Which of course would be immune to the, the dragon move, but I, I don't think they're going to do that, and they, they're not doing that. I would have, uh, yeah, for a second hesitated, was thinking maybe Max Steel Spike, but if this is Assault Vest, and we're at minus one, I'm, I'm not convinced that even at plus one after our, after our weakness policy, yeah, there is, I'm not convinced we would knock out. So we're going in, we're going for the Wormwind. And this is why we have Roar of Time, because I want to get maximum damage from this setup. Let's see if it knocks out. It does. The, the strength on that. That was a prick. Uh, would have been close anyway. If it's not a Sort Vest, then not close at all. That would be, that's still doing the job. And another Snarl. Oh no. Yeah. Built. 
feel quite bad. You, 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 you got to feel bad for my opponent there. Um, two snarl misses on Dialga. That's really put us in. Uh, yeah, just kept us in a great position. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're going to come back from this. So Landorus comes in. They haven't Dynamax yet, so yeah, this is a, a great Pokemon for them to, to bring in. I'm already thinking we are going to parting shot that slot. And who do I want to worm win? Because I feel like Zacian could come in now. So it's something I do have to be careful of. Um, I think we do probably just worm win. I think we do probably into Landorus. But it could be sharp. I mean, they could switch out. They could switch out Landorus. Uh... Yeah, we're going to Sharpie here because I think they might switch out. They, or they just forfeit. They just forfeit, and uh, I don't really blame them to be honest. Uh, yeah, terrible luck for my opponent. The the double snarl lead was a good lead. It really was a good lead. Um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to lead wouldn't want to lead uh, Groudon into that into a Veltal. Um, of course, Sharpedo's water type as well. Um, yeah, unlucky to my opponent. Good. I'm uh, I'm free to sleep powder. Here. Switch in Groudon and go for sleep powder. Um, what's the worst they can do? So Dynamaxing Charizard. Thunder Wave comes out, into the Charizard slot, can't Thunder Wave a Groudon, oh and, uh, okay, Venusaur, why are you doing this to me? This is uh, two for two with the, the Sleep Powders with this team. Um, I can't complain though, I can't complain. Did you see the last game? Uh, it is what it is, right? The way Pokemon goes. And uh, I think we just lost. We, we did, uh, yeah, we, uh, I tried to turn it around, but we lost. And that, that, that's Pokemon summed up for you in two battles. Why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs>